I'm just telling you this right now. I want to do anything I can to co cooperate in this investigation. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Mr. Bryant, let me explain, let me be brief about the details of this uh, uh, very unique project that I'm, I'm offering you an exclusive first look opportunity at. The city, this town, this, 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 no one's ever seen something like this before. Let me break it down for you in the most simplest uh, um, words I can, I, I can conjure. Basically, I got myself <clears throat> months ago a tape that was called the Graduation Party Labels. We thought nothing of it. I'm waiting for this to get interested. Because of attention um, that was called upon us through the uh, federal authorities. Mr. Mr. Lee, this is Bob Bassard. I'm actually with the New York Attorney General's office. Um, make a long story short, so we got a story on our hands that is hotter than fried chicken in South Carolina in August. Did I, I did receive, through FedEx, a copy of this material. Nine hours plus of raw material at that graduation party. No. Okay. <laughs> what? But you want to know something? I don't know my parents. Did you make any copies? I have given you three minutes. Okay, well... I guess, I guess I will. I guess I do need to get to the hook. There is one thing that makes this special. We are as perplexed as to the nature of why we receive this found footage. I got something real special for you that I think you really like. Just in a, in a concise one sentence, please. Okay, okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concise pitch uh she was crazy uh you want to know about the party man i'll tell you about the party i'll tell you fucking everything you want to know uh on day nine was the graduation party held in the westchester county of new york state And if you would just do me the honor of clicking on the, uh, if you look at your, your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen. Madness. Uh, about 20 minutes outside of the city of Manhattan. Or oh, the Bell of Manhattan, rather. The stripper poles brought in and, and we hired strippers dressed as firefighters. I guess, I guess I will. I guess I do need to get to the hook. Bestiality. About approximately seven, six to seven hours of raw footage involving a girl giving a donkey a lap dance, horses, individuals at a graduation party, girls dancing and, and ripping off each other's clothes and for a, a small online college. Purpose of education. Of course, there are uh, sharp differences on, on this matter. In Manhattan. New York City, okay? Chomsky University. Rubbing each other down with oils and and food of like whipped cream and um, like uh, chocolate sauce and I think even tartar sauce and you know condiments that aren't even sexy like mustards and and pickle whip. And these individuals were doing all of the typical things that individuals of that age do. Getting really drunk, we were dancing. 
Everyone was kissing everybody. Girl on girl, guy on guy, guy on guy on girl on girl on guy. Fornication. There was girls kissing girls, guys kissing guys, kissing girls. Blowjobs, sodomy. Intoxication. How many lines of coke? Flagellation. And like weird stuff like that I've never even heard of. People use beluga caviar as lubrication. Uh, dildos made out of the tusks of an elephant. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the other Asians may be, but... People just running around naked, screaming in the backyard. They were doing them all. We had a, a greased up watermelon in the pool. Everyone just trying to grab and sink their teeth. So at the end of the day... There was tons of fucking drugs. This is a uh, garden variety stuff. There was, there was marijuana, there was cocaine, there was H. I see this shit five times a day, even before my breakfast. There was shrooms. There was a fucking mattress filled with weed. So this is nothing that would draw my attention. It was crazy. However... It was, it was a great party. You should have came. We would have loved to have had you. Well, you came, right? You're a very good-looking guy. It would have been great to have you there. I love, I love your eyes. You could just, you could get lost in them. And I'm sure a lot of the girls, that girl, she'd probably have sex with you on stage in front of a bunch of people. And um, you know, I'd like to watch. I'd like, I'd like backstage passes to that show. I remember that day. I, I, I suppose. The stars were bright up above. The best of us, the most professional among us, we still don't know what to make of it. Heads or tails. Wait, wait we have an announcement. And we were about to call you. I gotta tell you, we weren't trying to pull any funny stuff, but we just didn't know what we had. I hope and I pray. 20 years ago when I got involved, we got that Blair Witch craziness, which was, you know, the fake found footage, and we've had it now with paranormal, you know, activity, and... My dad ordered us a limo. Yeah, they're always about to call. So tomorrow night, if you want to come with us to the city... Let's, let's go back to the tape. To keep your precious love... You're welcome. Get the fuck out! Is it, it, no one's ever seen something like this before. So before the night, hold me again with all of your mind. Because right now, this thing has the potential to really ruin your life. In the still of the night. We love you! All right. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. Can you all shut up, you motherfucker? I, <laughs> I didn't ask for the tape. So the, the tape was sent to me. I have to admit. Cool, you like? Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to learn how to sing like that. You are so Beautiful. stunning in that dress. And if you would just do me the honor. I need to know that you haven't sold or tried to sell that tape to anybody else. It has been done to death, and no. Who wants to see another one of those? Not me. Not anybody I know worth talking to. Can you tell me that? Um, if you look at your at your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen. Oh, 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 you know, you guys are going towards your next journey. Hey, hey you're second. being rude. Oh, I'm, Shh. I'm talking. Of clicking on the. Uh, I've been with you for four fucking years. No, I have not. I have not. I got a link right there on the subject line. I love you, dude. Oh, oh. I love you. You just click that. It's going to take you to a page, a YouTube page. To be honest, I was about to report it, but when you get so many tapes from filmmakers trying to do a Blair Witch. Oh, yeah. I'm special. You can't report ever, you know, fake. I know you look like a black prince, but I still fucking love your ass, all right? 22 seconds, just watch that. I can't join you because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm shooting and I have Shut a video. Up. I got a link right there on the subject line. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm like, oh, no. No.
You just click that, it's going to take you to a page, a, a YouTube page. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest movie ever made was Paranormal Activity. <laughs> and it's a fake faux footage, found footage thing. I'm going to enjoy it. It's a genre unto itself. 22 seconds, and it'll give you the answer right. you're looking for right now. I have it right here. All right, pull it right up. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. Could be the next Jersey Shore. Oh, I think that a bunch of 21-year-olds thought that their life was so interesting. Did the right thing. Yeah. Went to school. Go to college. You meet new people. It's an experience. I had a hell of an experience. What would have made for great TV? One of the college experiences. You go to the parties. You start to drink. Fuck your professors. You get an A. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show or like a crazy party scene from a movie. Future. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just stay friendly here because I... Where's he been when he's been like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Clearly he's been with me. I got a link right there on the subject line. So you're just being fucking ignorant. I don't know. I, I don't know who sent it to me. And I say that with the God's honest truth. Yeah. Think of this, all, um, Special Agent. Here, here's the angle. And you just click that, it's gonna take you to a page. You fucked every single guy in this room. But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV. Do you make any copies? I'm gonna be the average brother with soul. Do you really think you can seriously take you seriously in a relationship? Uh, YouTube page. I'm gonna be a worldwide oh, international. Oh. Let, let's look at the facts. I have uh, entered into preliminary negotiations for the material. No, 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 no. Do you think he's gonna put a ring on that finger? 22 seconds, just watch that. Where's he been when he's been like, oh, I'm in the room, I'm on the phone, or whatever bullshit dumb excuse you You know what? Obviously, he's just fucking a slut. This <laughs> actually may be what Hollywood has fictionalized for so long the true found footage of the last hours of a group of people. Who the audience will connect with on a sympathetic level because this was their last hours alive to ever filmed. I mean, it's it's profound, yet it will reach the common man who will understand the gravity of this kind of footage, this artistic weight, if you will. So, right now, I have it right. Here. I pull it right now. You know, and that's all you'll ever be. Who has the tape? Because you're boring. Get get back to me after after you click it and watch it. On a I guess I digress. I just want to tell you that it's in my interest to find out what's going on because this would be historic if this was actual found footage of a legitimate nature. He thinks of me when he's fucking you. Yeah, I think he'll be quite entertained by it. And let's touch base soon because I'd like to know where I stand in all this because my reputation's at stake. I will do that. Okay, I'll wait right here. I'm sure by now you know that the footage you found is real. Fuck you! Correct. The big story in Action News is the multi-alarm fire that turned a $5 million, 22,000 square foot mansion into charred embers.
Yes, this is uh, Neil Van Orten on Scott's Yale reporting for the BBC. Early preliminary reports, I have 18 um, recently graduated students from Chongzhou University found at the uh, site of a graduation party the uh, morning uh, after uh, apparently a, the revelry began. Uh, the 18 bodies were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, degraded state, uh, beyond recognition, burned beyond recognition. Uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefighters had it under control. It was a six alarm fire. Apparently one of the survivors of the grad party, inferno as it's being called, well, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. A memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Uh, the 18 bodies were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, degraded state, uh, beyond recognition, burned beyond recognition. Uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefight has had it under control. It was a six alarm fire. Apparently one of the survivors of the grad party, Inferno as it's being called, well, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. A memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Current owner Gerald Badoff was trying to sell the French Chateau. So here's what I got to understand. After watching the tape and seeing the deaths and it all putting it together I realized I was in too deep it's about to call you boys I made no you go to the parties you start to drink fuck your professors you get an A Fuck around campus, you get pregnant. You don't know who the father is. <laughs> is that what we're sending off to college to do? If I was trying to hide this, I would not try to shop it. Uh, apparently, the networks are going to break up the footage into a mini series of a reality television program. Uh, to, uh, reportedly, NBC, Comcast, Universal has announced that all profits will be given to the family. Are you telling me that you? weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening. What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. On day 33, the, uh, uh, FedEx was sent to uh, the Creative Artists Agency, a Hollywood uh, agency, which was sent footage um, from an anonymous source, apparently, uh, which revealed uh, footage of the last hours of the graduates. So when I get tapes like that, um, if I called the cops every time, I'd be calling the cops every day! I didn't know about, why am I so, like, out of the loop? We're graduating from college, no matter how educated we are, what's an education? We still happen to be a bunch of idiots. I'm gonna be a worldwide oh, international. Oh. In the still of the night, I held you. Held you tight How I love Love you so I promise I'll never Let you go In the still of the night Yes, this is Brandon McCarthy of the British News Network recording, uh, reporting from uh, the great city of Manhattan, New York City, New York. June the 1st, apparently uh, the Westchester coroner has confirmed now that 18, in fact, are dead. 18 bodies have been found at the tragic inferno of the graduation party, as the national media has called it. It seems as though... We know for a fact that, that they were home and they were burned alive. Oh, yeah, the bodies were found and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shiggy shabango. I mean, turns out one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls, she was the daughter of a South Carolina senator. I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. That's honestly disgusting. Uh, on June the 2nd here, the day after the tragedy, we have now um, discovered through MSNBC that the South Carolina senator, uh, the incumbent of three terms Republican senator, actually has a daughter who is actually amongst the 
dead, tragically elevating this to a, a, a very high level. The Westchester Fire Chief um, has actually now um, ruled that this is a suspected arson in an investigation challenge suit. We should also mention this house and the property were used in several movies over the years, including a thriller called Safe, which comes out later this month. I think that a bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. On the 2nd of um, August, the FBI has discovered nine hours of footage they've actually themselves now through uh, court order have, achieved, have, have, have acquired all of the footage since the CAA. And in a way, to control, I believe, the, the, the damage here, it, uh, reportedly NBC, Comcast, Universal has announced that all profits will be given to the family. Uh, apparently, the NBC has premiered the show to groundbreaking, earth-shattering uh, ratings. You guys really want me to talk? Yes. yes. Go. <laughs> this is super juvenile, guys. What are we, like, in the fifth grade? I don't think any of you really wants to hear what I have to say. You know what I'm going to say anyway, right? College is basically just a microcosm of life, right? So you go to college, you fuck professors, you get A's in your classes, you don't use your degree. Do you know what? None of that fucking matters. I'm gonna sip fine fucking wines and live in Italy with rich men, and none of it's gonna fucking matter. <laughs> I don't care. Very, very high. Media frenzy has been done in earnest. Uh, it, it seems that these individuals who had absolutely no fame during their lives have discovered fame um, posthumously due to these uh, incredible um, scenes of very ordinary uh, activities rendered meaningful by their proximity to their death. Just kidding, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I do have my moments with you guys. Some of you are like, and others I don't, but that's fine. Cause you will meet people in life that you do not like. And I just want to reminisce back on when Angie had to get her stomach pumped out at the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Really, really drunk. <laughs> and I stayed there the entire night and missed my test. But you know, that's like a good friend of mine. So I felt like friends are for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. And that's the college life. Get drunk and you'll be sick. <laughs> I had a hell of an experience. <laughs> One of the college experiences. Like Animal House without all the togas. Special shout out to all the girls who helped me on my oral reports. <laughs> New York media has covered this tragedy quite extensively. However, because of the high profile nature of the South Carolina Senator's daughter, it looks as though the national media may pick up the story. In addition to that, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has been ordered to, uh, to undertake an investigation as to whether this was arson, suicide, homicide, or an accident. The fire marshal says he could have a cause of the fire as early as tomorrow. The following audiovisual exhibits are pertaining to a special investigation. The actual audio of the call 911 has just been released. Yeah. yeah, have have, have you uh, have, have you seen it, sir? What do you think? Do, do, ain't that a game changer? I mean, ain't that a game changer? Can you believe them them boys and girls went down like that? They all they all died. They died burned to burned alive. They were that's how they died. Well, it was about 18, and that wasn't all of them. Now, a couple people actually left the party. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons. And My understanding is that you also believe that 
one of the participants may be alive. Is that true? That is new information we just received. Basically, after watching some of this footage, we found out that one of the individuals was rejected from a marriage proposal and humiliated by the fact that this woman who he had asked to marry, who accepted it, then rejected it. Suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Um, why were there why were there cameras? Love triangle to a, uh, a, a you know a marriage proposal that's accepted then rejected by uh, in, a, in a betrayal and cheating between many different couples and and and, and, a, and a baby lost in, in, in an abortion and 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 a, a pregnancy that happens unexpectedly and a mushroom trip. <laughs> A uh, mushroom chip where a woman talks to her future self. Uh, it's com it's out there, man. Well, it was just a party. I mean, it wasn't. Why? Why the? Why the cameras? Where the hell is my shirt? <laughs> it seems as though. Oh, yeah, the bodies were found, and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shig shabango, I mean. I get so drunk that I can't even remember what I, what I did last night. Why? Because I don't want to face reality. Turns out that one of those, uh, one of the, one of the kids that died, one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls, uh, this is a, Daddy, who's a, she was the daughter of a South Carolina senator, actually. Well, well I, I, no, I believe I'm afraid he is Republican, but so the thing you have to clear, it is too bad, it is too bad. But he's a very powerful man, and he's getting some uh, federal investigation involved. What, what he's doing, and it's good for the drama is the fact that we're well, following this in a parallel sense to, 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 to all these other, you know, kind of retrospective events that you have to understand that this is footage, nine hours of footage we have of these people's last few hours on Earth. Okay, that, that, that's just compelling television right there in and of itself. But it's then quite intriguing, it, it really is. It, 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 it I makes cannot it. recall, I cannot recall any reality show, so-called reality show, with yeah. death being the main This is a game changer. This is a, a, a TV history kind of thing. But I'll tell you this, we got nine hours of it. it Just in that footage that of, of their death, it ain't just there. It's it's this fire that killed them, that that robbed them of this adulthood, of this life they could have had. It's fascinating. This is like Fellini meets, uh, you know, I don't know, man. It's just like out there. If you really think about this, if you really think about this, this is fascinating because we don't even know. It could have been a suicide pact. It could have been a murder. It could have been a, a, a like a cult thing. It could have been an accident. Could have been awesome. It's like what happened? We don't even know what happened. So we're like in the middle of the story. The story ain't just in that footage out of, of their death. It ain't just there. It's it's this fire that killed them, that, that robbed them of this adulthood, of this life they could have had. It's fascinating. It is like nothing that has ever been on TV. It's bold. It's big. It's bold and big. You know what I'm saying? I can see this going bold and big into the moon. You know, these kids will be stars. These will, they'll be major stars. They'll be dead stars. They'll be dead, but they'll be stars, you know? It was just a party. 
uh, with all those uh, young people involved, uh, there are so many stories that this could even be a sequel. The, the, the possibility, because, you know, um, of course, we'd have to have a different cast because, you know, they're dead and all that. <laughs> We could adapt it. We could get, you know, uh, one of some of those young styles to play some of these kids. You know, we could actually go to Hollywood and make the Hollywood version of this. Discussion, the discussion of it, it could just fascinate me. It's fascinating. It's then quite intriguing. It, it really it, is. It, 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 it I makes cannot it. Recall, I cannot recall any reality show, so-called reality show, with death as a main character. Yeah. Uh, it's just not a reality show. I mean, this is a property that just grows and grows. We'll do a book. We could do a subright and do this eight ways to Sunday. I mean, this is a property that just grows and grows. We'll do a book. We'll do make it into a, like a, you know, a twilight kind of book for the teenagers. I mean, we'll, we'll go on the web. We'll, we'll do the whole damn shebang. I swear, it's going to be much seen heaven. I'll tell you. It is vertically integrated, and it is capitulated, and it's going to be manipulated, and it's going to be ridiculated. But, you know what I'm saying? I can see this going bold and big into the moon. You know, these kids will be stars. These will, they'll be major stars. They'll be dead stars. They'll be dead, but they'll be stars, you know? I want to know myself, and I cannot believe I'm saying How much? July, uh, apparently there was an auction held by a uh, creative origin agency for the video rights, the licensing for the national syndication and uh, for the distribution of uh, the admittedly uh, macabre uh, footage of their last hours alive of these uh, young graduates who have died only a few hours after the footage was filmed. It's now through uh, court order have a cheat. Have uh, good doing business with you. Uh, apparently, the networks are going to break up the found footage into a mini series of a reality television program. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, premiere, uh, and we'll take a meeting in about a month or so. It may be down in Philadelphia at your place, all right? My mind is running away. Okay, yeah, good idea. I'd like to be like a doctor. Like, I think I'm gonna have like money. Like, 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 A trailer for the TV series was just released on uh, September the 21st.
I'm gonna talk to you later, sir. All right, you take care now. I'll send over some shortcakes to you. I'll send over some shortcakes to you. All right, I, pr I promise, sir. Tonight, NBC premiered the um, first episode of the series, Grad Party, which is um, an edited version of the nine hours of footage which was acquired during the party. And um, recent um, web trends have released uh, the statistics that today on Google, uh, Grad Party was the top Google search in all worldwide searches. Action. And then we look at one right there, and then I'm just kind of like, yeah. I fix it. Yeah. Alright. Because, like, you're already perfect, I love it. Just call me tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Fuck. Is this it? Call me tomorrow. Alright, fine. Let's go. And of course, a bit, you know. I feel like tonight is the first night of the rest of our lives. I feel like everything <laughs> changes. Don't laugh. You're everything changes show. from this point on, and you guys know it's true. Everything's gonna change from now on. That's true. I just wish everybody a lot of love and success. Oh. Oh. Don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. And I wanna let you know that violin, I've had violin. really good four years with you guys. And I'm gonna miss you. If I if I don't see you, I hope you guys all keep in touch. Oh, we'll see each other. Aww. Aww. So, so cute. <laughs> All right, now my so say, say no, no, your plans for afterwards. No, Camera my plans. bullshit. My plans. <laughs> oh, shh. Shut up. Guys, quiet. My plans. I don't know what I want to do. I actually have no idea. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know where my career is going. I just want to live life and have a good time and have a lot of adventures. And I hope that some of you guys are there to share it with me, so. Special shout out to all the girls who helped me on my oral reports. <laughs> Congrats to all. I do want to say that we, this was a long four years and we went through all these courses and hard professors and extensive tests and everything that we did, but we did well. And I just want to say that once I graduate and after everything is done, that our degrees mean nothing because the economy is bad. So, <laughs> therefore, I agree. Therefore, I'm going to go away and, you know, open schools in third world countries and just try to help out. <laughs> and just, you would. You're not going to do shit. See, Listen, here man. we go again. Uh, she's I mean, a total slut. She probably no, she's probably home. like five months pregnant. Yeah. No, you're right. For sure. I wouldn't be surprised if she popped out like two different babies from two different fathers. Stacey Lee is talking. And I just want to just open schools in third world countries to help those unfortunate. Although we spent thousands of dollars on a school here, I'm going to give them free schooling and just, you know, just help out the needy. And after that, I want to have kids, pretty kids. And <laughs> yeah, I just want them to be successful like mommy. And then I'm gonna marry rich. What are you gonna questioning me? Your father is probably the richest person. I mean, I don't even want to say that, but it's richer than my talk dad. It's about money, okay? Yeah, but I'm saying exactly. Why are you so classless sometimes? I just, I just, I'm just having fun. It's just, it's just fun. Fun is going to Greece. Fun isn't like oh God, touching a random boy's dick. You can touch random boy's dicks in Greece, right? Yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. They're hot. <laughs> I'm kind of dirty. Yeah. You're kind of dirty. I know. Don't tell anyone. Uh, yeah. you know. Uh, a little secret. Don't tell anyone I'm
drinking your tequila. Dirty girl. No. I just want to say thank you to everybody that's here. I want to say thank you to Brittany for letting me take all of her notes in class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brittany, you're a good girl. <laughs> I suppose you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> for letting me take all of your notes when I was partying with well, my boy. Well, you owe me, that's all. So, Greece. What about it? I, why wasn't I invited? I mean, I have my plans. I'm going with... You were invited. We invited him. <laughs> yeah. And I'm getting ready to go to Greece with my best friends, David and Maddie. Really? How long, so hot. how long are you going to be is there? Is everyone hot? We're going for two months. <laughs> Everyone is hot, bitch. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it's kind of hurtful. I mean, it's, it's been four years now, and, you know, it, it seems intentional to me. It's not intentional. I had to choose, okay? Choose what? What? Why did you have to choose? I mean, was it money? Are you poor now? I know some of you. Uh, some of you I don't know. Uh, some of you I don't give a fuck about. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to tell you how it is, seriously. Um, best of luck to the guys that I love and people that are actually real. To all you fake motherfuckers out there, fuck you. I could have bought my own way. You know that. I mean, look, I, I know like you've gone through some hard times, and I know, honestly, your family is struggling financially right now. With the, I mean... Don't give me that bullshit. Well, don't is, give me that I'm so concerned face. I know you don't give friends. a fuck. You know? Friends? What kind of friend are you? You guys are not my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have been there for You're you not loyal. through everything. You're not loyal to us. When have I ever not been there for you? What about that time in Cabo? Huh? He well, yeah, basically the... left me for dead. <laughs> yourself into that mess. Whatever. Anyway. Look, it's not my fault she got too drunk. Okay. Look, I don't know what you're going through, but you really Maybe need to pull yourself ask together. Once in a while. Okay. Do you want to know my problem? What's your problem? Are you kidding me? Art? <laughs> I got into art school, that's my problem. Oh great. And, and what are you going to do there? You're going to be an artist? Live your dream? Just because she has a dream, you don't. I'm sure that'll make your down. parents real proud, you know? I just like, I can't believe it's done. I, I wasn't even supposed to come to this school. I, I was supposed to go somewhere else, but... I don't know, I, it went... And I, I don't know, I guess I'm supposed to go to another school next year, grad school. Yeah. Um, I'm just scared. <laughs> Shut up here. Stop. No, it's honestly disgusting. Why would you say that to me? You make me look like a plebeian. Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I didn't invite you to this party. So? So? Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. You're not friends with us anymore. You're, you're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly, don't want you here. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously. Look at that smile. <laughs> you know you like it. You know you like it. Don't give me that bullshit. You're, you're an asshole. I'm not. You think you can just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? Are you kidding me? And you don't even tell me where you- I have to find out where you are from the radio? So don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing. Look, your father knows I'm smart. He could smart. snap you in half, okay? Look, 
Your father, he already knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. He knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. Your father likes me. I already talked to him. We play golf. It's cool. It's really cool. So Just watch I, your back, okay? No, all I'm saying is this. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. I know that, um, whatever, you want to be at this party, and I came for you, right? You, you want to be here. Right? You want to be here. Right? I'm not forgiving you. I'm not just, I'm not just going to let this go. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that, okay? Okay. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> no, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. <laughs> That's insulting. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I don't. I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. Your daddy knows who I am. And you do too. I'm taking a tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. Tons of French men over there. But you can't do anything to them. Because okay. you're my... you're my bitch. I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence, and I got in. That's good. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I'm serious. You're not going. Don't. Listen. Don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> no, you don't. Think, think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. I have to go. No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. All right, all right. When it's all said and done... <sighs> yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. You remember? It was really cool. Don't let me sing it. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father, be better than that. And I'm trying to. But and now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. I'm just saying, can't you do it in Europe? <laughs> Seriously. That's 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 like where the money is. You're all about money anyways, so. Don't yeah. make it seem like I'm just about money. That's you kind of are. <laughs> no, just because okay. I have it. Exactly. So, I mean, what what happens if we go to fucking Europe, right? And, um, I don't know, you you apply to the to the art school there. And you, you get in. Obviously, you're going to get in. Do you think I'm not serious? Huh? I'm serious about this. I'm just giving you another option where you can have both of what you want. You can have me and art. I know, but you're not going to pay for my school. I'll pay for it. You don't have the money to. Please. I went platinum in like two fucking weeks. I have plenty of money. I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to. I just want you to come with Listen, me. Listen, my dad doesn't know that I got it. <sighs> so, so you're going to tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Are you kidding me? Art? That's insulting. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I don't. I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. Your daddy knows who I am. And you do too. So don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing. Look, your father knows I'm smart. He could snap you in half, okay? Look. Your father, he already knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. He knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. Your father likes me. I already talked to him. We play golf. It's cool. It's really cool. So Just watch I, your back, okay? No, all I'm saying is this. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. I know that, um, whatever, you want to be at this party, and I came for you.
right? You, you want to be You're here. An you want to be here. Right? I'm not forgiving you. I'm not just. I'm not just gonna let this go. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. Okay. Okay. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. No, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I love you. You know that. I'm serious. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? Leave all this bullshit, whatever. Forget about your dad. You're gonna be rich. It's cool. You already know it. You got all that money. Whatever. I have my money. I'm gonna take you on tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. Tons of French men over there, but you can't do anything to them. Cause okay. you, you're my, you're my bitch. <laughs> I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence. And I got in. That's good. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this <laughs> shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I'm serious. You're not going. Don't. Listen. Don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> No, you don't. Think of, think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. I have to go. No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. All right, all right. When it's all said and done... <sighs> yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember our sophomore year? I played that song for you. You remember? It was really cool. Don't let me sing it. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father, be better than that. And I'm trying to. But and now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. I'm just saying, can't you do it in Europe? <laughs> Seriously. That's 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 like where the money is. You're all about money, anyways. So don't you know. make it seem like I'm just about money. That's you kind of are. <laughs> no, just because okay. I have it. Exactly. So I mean, what what happens if we go to fucking Europe, right? And um, I don't know. You you apply to the to the art school there, and you, you get in. Obviously, you're gonna. Do you get think in. I'm not serious? Huh? I'm serious about this. I'm just giving you another option where you can have both of what you want. You can have me and art. I know, but you're not going to pay for my school. I'll pay for it. You don't have the money to. Please. I went platinum in like two fucking weeks. I have plenty of money. I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to. I just want you to come with Listen, me. Listen, my dad doesn't know that I got it. <sighs> so, so you're going to tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Are you kidding me? Art? So? Art? You, you, already, you, already you, got your... you think that my parents want me to go to art school? Dude, you already got your fucking degree in political science. So what if you decide to go to art school? You're what, your GPA is a 3.9 or some shit? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen they this would, stuff. They, they, they would rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. They didn't see You stuff. know, my, are you kidding me? You were acting like you hadn't even met my father. I know, but he 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 told me he was like, you know, she you know she's she's good. Although yeah, he did say that. Okay, fine. I want her to be a lawyer or some shit or take over the business. Art is like dirt on the bottom of their shoe. You know, it's like a. They appreciate art. They like my, my fucking music. They no, it's like art. mice in their walls, you know? They just like... They just see it as trash. Alright, They look. see it... No, but this is the problem. He can't know. Look, He look. cannot know. All I'm saying, you, you, you're so fucking concerned about your dad and all this shit, but this is what I need to figure out. I need to figure out either you're coming with me 
Which, I know you fucking want to film with me because you want this. I want you to. So, um, either you, you, you're going to have to fucking choose to stay in New York and do the whole art thing. Or you can go to fucking Europe with me and tour. And you can do your art. And, like, in Europe, it's more progressive. It's like, you know, it's fast forward. Like, Grace Jones, she started over there with her music and stuff like that. And she's pretty big. So, I mean... What do you say? Please, don't... I'm not... Why am I fucking saying please? For us. For us. I can't. After all, all the fuck we fucking been through, you're gonna really tell me no that you can't go. Do you know how much I put into this shit? You're the only one that I fucking care about. All these fucking girls, all these girls around me and shit, you're the only one I write to. I've, I've written like, what, four songs about you? And you're gonna make me go through this process by my fucking self. You're gonna make me go to fucking Europe. You're gonna send me to fucking Europe. And while you're gonna fucking stay in New York and do what you wanna do and not even fucking care about my needs for you, I want you there. I want you. I want you there. I've written letters. Songs. I showed up to this bullshit ass party because I knew you would be there. I talked to your fucking dad. I know he doesn't like me or this or whatever, but I, I, I still did it for us. And you're gonna basically tell me like, no, I don't want to have a life with you. I'm, I'm going to choose art in New York instead. Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. So, you remember when we first met four years ago? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> See? No, I was so drunk. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I don't know. I was pretty hammered at that frat party. Oh, God, I'm so glad I didn't join that. It was yeah. a disaster. You, oh my gosh, you were so cute. Like, I did a body <laughs> shot. Yeah, I did a body shot off of you. Or did you do a body shot off of me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it must have gone wrong. Remember that ice luge, too? Oh my I remember God. you used to have those glasses that you wore. Oh, please, come on. Why are you talking about that? <laughs> That's too much. You're no cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently not cute enough to meet your parents, though. Got What's it. up with that? Four years. Still haven't met your parents. I don't even know what their names are. <laughs> Mr. Hands, and Mrs. Hands are covering my hands light. Hold hands below, away from the light. I don't know. You know how my parents are. Not really. I haven't even I, met them. God, I... <laughs> they don't... They would they all traditional and all in Indian culture. I mean, for my parents, I am supposed to marry Indian guy, doctor, lawyer, man. Yeah, but we're not in India. I know, but it's it's them. It's the culture. It's what they think. I just I don't I don't want to have to deal with I don't want to have to deal with having to upset them so much about this one. Well, babe, we're going to have to deal with this sooner or later anyways. I, do you want to deal with that? I mean, Well, I'm, I'm going to deal with that. You have a graduation party, so I'm going to be meeting them soon anyway. I mean, what, should I dress a certain way? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to show up looking like Aladdin, you know? Maybe that will lighten the situation. Be like Aladdin wasn't Catholic. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm, I don't know, I'm sorry. He must have spent too much time in the cold. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm looking forward to it though. You know, I just I really want things to go well with them. I don't. I don't. I don't know if that can happen anytime soon. What do you mean? It. Where's this coming from? You know. You know I really care about you, right? Yeah, I know you do. But yet yeah, I still haven't met your parents. It's just kind of, you know, I've got to do it sooner or later anyway. You might as well get it over with. I just, I, I don't think it's the right time. You don't think it's the right time? So when would be the right time? It's been four I years. I feel like, no, I, just, I feel like we need to wait for a while until, I, I, need, to, I need to ease them into this situation. All right. So, so what's a while? Like four years and two days? So we've got two more days? <laughs> So does that mean that um, we're just dating since I haven't even met your parents? What do you mean we're just dating? There's no exclusivity going on there? Is there <laughs> no, there, no, is, no, there is exclusivity. So, I mean, that's what I've, you know, I've, I've assumed there's exclusivity, but I mean, I haven't even met your parents yet. So, uh, you know, is that kind of how it goes? Is that how it goes? No, that's not what I thought, but I mean, come on. Give me more face. See his angle. I more do his angle. Or he's like looking out there. Good. Okay, good. Um, I'm just really anxious to meet him. If you if you need a little more time, I, I, I can just, give you some I need time. a little bit more time. I need to I need to ease them into it. All right, all right. Well, Is that okay? They'll when they're ready, they will love you. Yeah, yeah. When you're ready, they will love you. Okay, it's about that time. <laughs> Welcome, class of 2011. We can't fight it anymore. We're getting old. All my life, I wanted to grow up. I wanted to grow older so people would take me seriously. It all sounded so good to me. Growing up, getting a job, getting married. But it's all a scam. I know what to do after this. I mean, you guys have been pretty much my life for the past four years, and I love you. I love you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to like. What am I gonna? I don't know. All right, and on that note, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I know a lot of you by face. You're Evan? Evan, you're my boy? <laughs> you, you're pretty cool. We've had some good times. Lots of drinks. Um, uh, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you're pretty cool. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, and fuck you. I'm out. This is what we've been talking about. You know, making something of yourself. Oh, making being something. something that, being something. Being paint? something at all. Do you even feel anything anymore? You have fucking vodka for lunch, tequila for dinner, which is disgusting. You know. Scotch for dessert. I mean, what the fuck do you do with your life, huh? At least I have a fucking passion. At least I have talent, ability. And the fuck do you do all the time, huh? What is gonna do for you when you are having to pay rent? Oh gosh, I cannot sit back any longer. Here, the nonsense, okay? I'm over it. It's been four years of this bullshit, and I'm so tired of it. I mean, come on. Aren't we all supposed to be friends? You know, get it together. I've like, come been on, a guys. friend. I have been there for her through everything. I'd really appreciate you to talk. And about her, I, I don't know. I don't even know. You don't know. I don't. Are you even just know fucking where you writing came me from. off? You don't know where I came from. I mean, you've been in her ear this entire time. You probably in told her, her not to invite told me. Told me what? Come on, come on, guys. I mean, come on. You know, this like, is. We didn't invite you either. Oh, hello. I've always been here. I've been a friend to you more than anybody in this room. How dare you speak to me that way? I just don't think it's right what happened, okay? You I mean, weren't even supposed to be here. Right now, okay? You weren't supposed to come to this party. Why not? Don't even what show up at this house pretending like you're my friend. Ladies, I'm not your friend now. now. All the bullshit that we've been through together, together, now you want to do this? Okay, just You're pretend like you didn't... Unbelievable. You guys really want me to talk? Yes, <laughs> yes. go. This is super juvenile, guys. Were we like in the fifth grade? I don't think any of you really wants to hear what I have to say. You know what I'm going to say anyway, right? 
college is basically just a microcosm of life, right? Mm -hmm. So you go to college, you fuck professors, you get A's in your classes, you don't use your degree. Do you know what? None of that fucking matters. I'm gonna sip fine fucking wines and live in Italy with rich men, and none of it's gonna fucking matter. <laughs> I don't care. Just kidding, I love you guys. <laughs> oh, I knew she was black. <laughs> no, but really, that's a super ugly dress. <laughs> you, you're awesome. You fucking That was brilliant. I mean, you were my roommate freshman year. No one even liked you. I deal with your bullshit, all the guys you brought to the room. Soon as you became Alpha Psi Omega. <laughs> guys I brought to the room? Yeah, all you the guys. You mean my boyfriend who you fucking hooked up with? I mean, how many boyfriends do you have in one semester? Come on. Was he really your boyfriend? You, you don't have to you talk to fucked like my that. boyfriend. That's disgusting. I did not. You're do, a do filthy you have animal. Do you have proof? I'm sorry. We I mean, all know this about is this. just Come trashy. On. I mean, I, David, can you ask I her to leave, please? Know you. you have to go. I, I don't First of all, know she knows me. Here. She knows me. She was my roommate before she even got with you guys. Me and her were the best of friends. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, since she's in this new sorority, she like play in the she, park. she's not my friend anymore. <laughs> She's been with me when my mother died, passed away. I cried on her shoulder. I mean, for I'm goodness sure sake. You did. Who are you? Don't bring your mother into this. You know it. That's kind of true. Like I know it. You know it. Without these guys, <laughs> without yeah. me, basically, without me, you wouldn't be you anyone. You make it seem like you didn't come to my house, like trash it. Every time you'd come over, my parents would be like, who is that animal? She's so filthy. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm are serious. Are you serious? Well, do your parents know you about You treat my parents without any respect. Sniff? Do, do, do they know about the coke you snack? Yeah, they fucking pay for it, okay? Yeah, okay. And the volumes you pop and don't go to class, they spend so much money on you. For what? Just so you can flunk and, and, and have sex and make out with I'm her? I'm not flunking. I'm over this. You guys, you can have I'm her. talented, okay? I know the real her when she had I'm nothing. A, I'm fucking so talented. You can have I'm her. good at something. Yeah, I know. Blowjobs. What are you good at? Being your what? friend, you know, loser. Can you, can you just let it go? I mean, please. I'm so glad this shit is over. Than, this is um, I do have my moments with you guys. Some of you are like, and others I don't, but that's fine, because you will meet people in life that you do not like. And I just want to reminisce back on when Angie had to get her stomach pumped out at the hospital. <laughs> when I was really, really drunk, <laughs> and I stayed there the entire night, and missed my test. But you know, that's like a good friend of mine. So I felt like friends shit about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> And that's the college life. Get drunk and you'll be <laughs> So, tell me about art school. Hmm? Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up. I'm an adult in a kid's body. And we still act like children. Well, your proposal wasn't staged, right? You didn't tell anybody else about that. I mean, Angie was really shocked. Uh, truth to that, Craig. Uh, truth. Alright, um... Would you marry... Would you marry Angie?